Live from JMT Studios, Gary Seisel and Adam Buckingham are the Two Jersey Kids. Hey guys, Two Jersey Kids is back in that house. It's in your ears right now. I am one of your hosts, Adam Buckingham, alongside my good friend of 10 years, Gary Seisel, known as the best stick handler in the business. How you doing, Gary? Fantastic, sir. Fantastic. How have you, what have you been up to? How's your weekend uh, been? This weekend's kind of in hell. I've had a lot of stuff to do for school, uh, as usual, on one day, being today, Monday. Nice. Um, and I was supposed to actually present tonight for one class, but we ran out of time, and then we got pushed back two weeks. So I worried about this presentation all weekend, <laughs> and now I have not. I was, was like, weighing okay. on your brain. Yeah, fantastic. No wonder. That's why you were all off last episode. No wonder you were straight garbage. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, the only good thing is – what? Can, no, I was, was going to say the only good thing is I get to actually work on my presentation, so that's that's a plus. But anyway, that's, why did they push shit. it back two? Why did they push it back two weeks? Well, one of our group members is going to the Eagles game um, next week, and he's like, "Well, wait, I want to." He said, "He said to the teacher, he's like, look, I want to go tonight, you know.'" But she was like, "All right, well, since I'm the one pushing it back or pushing you guys to next week, what well, you can just go the week after that." And I was <laughs> okay. like, "I'm like, deal." <laughs> Well, but okay. I've always been a fan of doing the po- doing the podcast, doing the presentation first. Get it out of the way. Have exactly. No expectations. You don't compare to any other presentations. If you go first, you get it done. It's like a band aid. Rip it off. I know. I say that now, and then I always want to put it off. But I mean, get it done first. Then you have no expectations well, set see, against thing. you. That's definitely true. Like I mean, in my other classes, we actually managed to go earlier. But like sometimes sometimes like to just you have to sign up for a lot of presentations mm-hmm. in my classes so we're just like there's a mad dash to sign up and you don't always get the spot you want so it's kind of like a shit show but um other than that though I, i've done so many presentations this semester that i'm actually just like i just go up there now and i just i just talk just like before it. i used to get nervous you're just a boss just like how you're not nervous doing these podcasts anymore we're not shaking yeah, in our boots i'm still nervous <laughs> trying to start the podcast for some reason i always have trouble <laughs> hitting that record button but if you guys didn't know, this is Two Jersey Kids. Sorry for that long diatribe in the beginning. Actually, I'm not sorry. I like talking, so deal with it. But this is Two Jersey Kids releasing two episodes every week. This is the Tuesday episode in your ears right now. We tell you the game's coming out this week. Sometimes the list is large. Sometimes the list is small. That sort of varies the length of time of the episode. Then we release normally an hour-long episode uh, on Friday that gives you the news in the video game industry and we give you our genius opinions about what is going on because you need to know our genius opinions because, I mean, really, ha- just listen to us right now. We are just filled with them. Our brains are huge. But uh, this – there's not many games this week, Gary, but uh, we, we shall go into it. Most of the games, I think all of them are releasing uh, tomorrow or Tuesday as you hear in your ear holes right now. You excited? I am – just ridiculously excited. Let's He's move pumped. into it. He's pumped. I can see him through the webcam right now. Let's uh, get into it. Uh, so all these games are going to be released on Tuesday, November 22nd. Starting off is Alch- Alchemic. Uh, Jesus, I'm already starting off great. Jo- Joust. Coming to PS4, <laughs> Alchemic Joust is a 2D action strategy game where you discover new skills by com- Binding the ones you already know. Command your elementals and support them with a wide variety of skills. Control the arena and crush your opponent in one-to-one encounters. Okay, let me say, I didn't get a chance to look at any of these games because normally I just look at them, um, uh, uh, I, I find time during my day, let's say. Uh, and However, the laptop that I use sometimes freaks out and doesn't let me play video. It, like, does it choppily, so I try to look at these games, but I couldn't actually see what the gameplay was like, because like, taking in sections at a time, like every second, it would take five seconds to finally get to that second, but uh, I, I digress. Moving on! Amnesia Collection coming to PS4! Experience the horror that kickstarted the Let's Play revolution! Be immersed in three living nightmares that will chill you to the core. The collection contains three Amnesia titles, The Dark Descent, A Machine for Pigs, and Justine. Gary, you gonna get Amnesia Collection? Do you feel the urge to scare the shit out of yourself? Honestly, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Whenever I get horror games, I cannot play through them because I play like 15 minutes, I stop, and then like I'll play another 15 minutes and stop, and then I'll just like never get back to it. So probably not gonna be my first choice. 
Probably not your first choice. Um, moving on. Batman the Telltale Series Episode 4, Guardian of the Gotham. Just FYI, if you're into Batman, there may be spoilers in this uh, summary that I have. In Episode 4, Penguin has taken control of Wayne Enterprises and the Elizabeth Arkham Asylum for the Criminally Insane has a new guest, you, Bruce Wayne. Okay. With the Batman removed from the streets of Gotham City, Harvey Dent's forces and the children of Arkham are at war with innocent citizens caught in the crossfire. To escape the, quote, comforts quote, of your padded cell, you must choo choose allies to aid in your escape, even if they aren't the sort to put a smile on your face. How far are you willing to go for justice? For vengeance? What now, Dark Knight? Spooky. That, that, that was actually a pretty good write-up. I'm I'm intrigued. I really want to play this Batman Telltale series, but I normally wait until it all comes out. So, uh, or that's how what I normally plan. I'd say to myself when all these Telltale games come out, I'm gonna wait until uh, they all collectively come out when something of interest hits me. Like I originally was gonna wait for the Game of Thrones. I feel like I don't even know if Game of Thrones Telltale series actually released all its episodes yet. I still think it's going on. But I heard I played through episode one because it was free on uh, PS4. It wasn't really too interested i don't know why but i'm excited for batman uh i love me some batman so when they all release in one i'll probably get i'll probably uh, take a look at it probably play it uh it should be fun playing through it and making decisions gary it's your turn to read go moving on <laughs> on to dark sires war mastered edition coming out to ps4 xbox one and wii u deceived by the forces of evil into prematurely bringing about the end of the world War, the first horseman of the apocalypse, stands accused of breaking the sacred law by inciting a war between heaven and hell. In the slaughter that ensued, the demonic forces defeated the heavenly hosts and laid claim to the earth. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Next up, we have The Division, Survival, coming to PC and Xbox One. Survival, as its name suggests, offers a new optional survival mode where up to 24 players fight to... You guessed it. Survive. The mode <laughs> takes place on the same New York City map as the main game. Players need to journey to the center of the Manhattan to find special items. Matches begin with players getting flown into the area on a helicopter. It crashes, and players are scattered around the map, needing to find better gear along the way to the center of the map. The action takes place on a snowy version of the Division's main map, and everyone starts with low-level gear items, green, and a pistol. Players must battle the elements and maintain their own health to survive. Items like scars and coats now have a cold rating and will keep players warm at different degrees. Good job, man. I'm proud you read that all of that. That was like a goddamn essay I was just reading on. Okay. Uh, just for you, man. All right. Moving on to Dragon Ball Fusions coming to 3DS. Dragon, Dragon, Dragon Ball Fusions Dragon. is the latest Dragon Ball experience for Dragon Nintendo 3DS. Ball. It's an RPG action game that combines fighting, customization, and collection elements to bring Dragon Ball to the next level. In this new world, players will discover powerful items, find warriors who can become their allies, and build teams to bring into battle to see who the best fighters are. The battle system combines strategy and real-time action to make this a fun and unique <laughs> Dragon Ball experience for fans. Jesus, man. You had to read a lot that whole section. Whew. Oh, man. Were you ever a Dragon Ball fan? I don't think I've ever talked to you about this. Were you ever into no, Dragon Ball? I, I was never into or any of that Dragon stuff, Ball really. Z? No. I, I I actually, this is, I mean, I guess this is sort of related to it, but, like, I had, I guess it's in the same, like, realm of things. Like, I remember Yu-Gi-Oh! being big and then Pokemon. But, like, I had, like, Pokemon cards and stuff and, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! cards. But, like, I never gave a damn about, about anything. The show? I, yeah, like, I just I had cards. missing out. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! Dragon Ball Pokemon show on point. On point. I remember I had uh, specifically Dragon Ball Budokai 1 through 3. Those games were the shit. I know people give shit to Budokai 2, specifically because the story mode was a board game where you hopped around with little tiles. Not gonna lie, I loved that shit as a little kid. I don't know why, but I really enjoyed it. But, um, yeah, I really, uh, I don't know, I can't speak much of this game, but I really enjoyed Dragon Ball. I feel like that's an underrated series. Uh, everyone gives attention to Dragon Ball Z, but Dragon Ball is really... I feel like it's underrated. It has a lot of uh, goofy uh, comedic moments where Dragon Ball Z is more serious in tone. Dragon Ball is more goofy, but also has a serious tone. Uh, blah, 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 
peppered throughout. There it is. That's the words. Now I want to read actual words where it doesn't have to come from my brain. It's on a piece of paper. Exile's End coming to Wii U. Exile's End is a platformer with exploration elements set on a dangerous alien world. The game was developed by one-man indie studio Magnetic Realms with art, cutscenes, and music provided by legends of the 8- and 16-bit eras from Japan. It draws from thematic influences from the science films and anime of the 80s and its gameplay from classic action-adventure titles. Not gonna lie, that write-up is actually pretty good. Makes me interested. Um, one-man indie studio. That's pretty impressive, creating a whole game that's like, um... Oh, shit, what's the... Oh, man, that's gonna kill me now. Oh, that's gonna kill me now. What's the... Oh, shit! Okay, I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna, fi- I'm gonna remember when you're reading. Gary the Gaul coming to PSVR! Say hello to Gary! Axiom Verge, that's it. God damn it, finally popped in my head. <laughs> Gary the Gaul coming to PSVR. Say hello to Gary. Gary the Gaul is an interactive VR short film where Gary talks to you. And you can talk back. Your path through the story depends on how you answer Gary's question using voice recognition and head gestures. Enjoy your day at the beach. This seems like just another experience in VR, not an actual game. Hollow Ball coming to PSVR. Hollow Ball plunges players into an action sports arcade arena inspired by one of the most iconic games of all time. Use your paddles to hit, smash, and curve the Hollow Ball past your opponent to score. Learn the master skill shot to outmatch your increasingly difficult opponents. Yeah, this is like a. If I remember this correctly, this might be like one of those mini clip games. Because I remember playing something similar to this, where you'd see like there's a screen in front of you. Yeah, uh-huh. curveball. That shit that was crazy. It used to be awesome. Oh, oh my god! I love that In the later stages of that game, holy Christ! It's getting get tense. It's getting tense. The ball back and forth, and you don't even know where it's going. Those are words. Go, Gary. Okay, so next up is I Zombie coming to PS4. Quite a different zombie game. This time, you are the zombie. Who would have figured? Command your infected comrades, fight your way to freedom, and let zombie kind dominate the world next up we have iron sea defenders coming to vita defend your fort from impending enemy attacks by saving money stockpiling super secret weaponry building cannons and driving the enemy to despair embrace your tactical and strategic prowess and victory will be yours in iron sea defenders just fyi it's just a tower defense game when i looked online uh didn't get people on steam weren't too fond of it it was kind of neutral but, I mean, it's on Vita. What what do you expect from Tower Defense? It's not going to be amazing, but it could be fun. So, there you go. That's my input. Okay. Moving on to Laser Disco Defenders. Coming, to, coming out to PS4. Shoot and dodge lasers in Laser Disco Defenders. A self-inflicted bullet hell that combines retro sci-fi with the sounds and sights of the disco era. Explore randomly generated levels, complete missions to unlock new clothing, and customize your character to gain new abilities. I'm gonna start reading these descriptions in like a like a Fallout type of like fifties type of voice. Like, <laughs> Make it more interesting. Shoot and dodge lasers and laser disco defenders. <laughs> Something ridiculous. That sounds anyway. like um, uh, what's in Bioshock? What's the generic uh store? It's, uh, uh, shit. Well, we're talking about um, god damn it, the plas. Well, each thing, I guess, like, like plasmids and stuff like that. Like when you first um get them injected into you a screen comes down and it shows you like like an almost like an advertisement of them i guess no, it's... but i'm talking about every this the generic one i think where you get ammo and it's the most iconic uh oh um fuck my life what is it uh, well i'm gonna look it up <sighs> yeah you look it up i'm gonna keep reading because this is riveting stuff moving on proton Pulse coming to PSVR. Proton Pulse Plus is a fast-paced classic action, arcade action from a whole new perspective, spanning over 50 levels with an original soundtrack by Jack Kaufman and Danimal. Proton Plus will take you on a heart-pounding mission to save the universe. Now, what the fuck kind of game is that? It, does, it literally says nothing in this write-up. Come on! Le- <laughs> come on! I have no idea what your game is when you do the... Eh. You're just saying, oh, there's 50 levels, music done by such and such. It's classic ac- arcade action. What the hell does that even mean? But that's just my opinion. Uh, it's on, uh, hmm. Samurai Showdown 6 coming to PS4. The aged 
Tenmei, the venue, the world, the prize, glory. The curtain now rises on Samurai's world's greatest spectral spectacle. Let the games begin. Again, no idea what the fuck this game is happening. I think it's a PS2 classic coming to PS4. Just FYI. Slain Back from Hell coming to Vita. A Vita game. Slain Back from Hell, a heavy metal inspired arcade combat game with stunning pixel art visuals, challenging old school gameplay and gore galore, plus the most metal soundtrack you ever heard. Yes, I played this on PS4, and uh, I feel like it, for PS4, it's not the type of game you get. I feel like for Vita, it could actually really shine um, playing this game um, on the go, because uh, the PS4, it didn't really, it didn't look as crystal clear as some pixel art games could be and didn't feel fluid, but I feel like on the Vita, uh, it could, since the Vita is uh, sort of looking for games you know, to play, this could be definitely, could be a, a good, a good seller. Good, good look at what, uh, yeah, I saw you raising your hair, Gary. What, 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 what do you want? Circus of Values. That's it! Is, is the store name. Circus and I, I, of Values. I will also say that the first one I actually stumbled upon was El Amo Bandito. <laughs> <laughs> so there's uh, also that guy. Circus of Values. That was good. Good job. Good researching, Ooh, man. That was, that was impressive. Do you know where we are? Can you keep reading or? Oh, yeah. Starcraft. Let's do this. All right. You get the next four. Since that Here works. we go. Starcraft 2, Nova Covert, Covert Ops. Mission Pack 3 coming to Mac and PC. With no alternatives left, you must sacrifice. Oh, God damn it. You must make sacrifices to ensure the future of the Turan Dominion. Lord in heaven. That was only a sentence long. That was the worst <laughs> one I've had so Struggle. far. Let's move on to Stranded, a Mars adventure coming to Vita. Flying to Mars is a piece of cake, but returning back to Earth, that's where the things get tricky. Help the stranded astronaut to find a way back home in this delightful side-scrolling skill game. Moving on to <laughs> Veer Zoom Arcade coming out to PSVR. One of our best episodes yet, let me tell you. <laughs> Veer Zoom Arcade is a ever-expanding collection of virtual reality exercise games powered by you. Pedal faster to chase down bandits, turn your head to aim your tank's cannon, and lean to swoop and dive on the back of a Pegasus. Say goodbye to your boring workout. Full games require the Veer Zoom Exercise Bike Controller available oh, shit, from I'm looking local at it right now. and online retailers. <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. The oh my last one on our list is We Sing, coming out to PS4 and Xbox One. We Sing returns bigger and better than ever before, featuring the hottest hits from the world's biggest artists from across five decades, including original recordings from artists including ABBA, David Bowie, Sia, I believe that's how she pronounces that name, Shawn Mendes, and Wiz Khalifa, the Wiz. Along, with, along with their official HD music videos. <laughs> All right, Gary, we got through the rundown, finally. Out of all these games, what interests you the most? Good God. Um, it's, a, it's a really difficult call to try and decide between all these games. Exile's End, coming out to the Wii U. I don't even own the console, but I'll say that's my pick. What the hell? Have you checked out the video? I I linked it in the – if just FYI. If you want I mean, it honestly, out. it's like you said, though. The write-up alone makes it interesting to me. Fair enough. I'm going to go with – I don't know. I'm just going to go with the Batman Telltale series just because that write-up was pretty on point. Honestly, I can't buy the episode four because I haven't got through the other ones. But if you've gotten all the way up to episode four, I'm pretty certain you're going to buy it. So that would be my pick. That would be the, that's the most exciting to me. Um, but, you know, I was planning on I, – I was looking throughout. I was trying to make this more spicy this episode. I'm going to try to do it next episode. Uh, I'll talk to you uh, about it, I guess, afterwards. But – I mean, since we're the end, but it's going to be Thanksgiving, so I was thinking, you know, maybe I should, we should do something regarding to that. So, Gary, I'm going to ask you a question. This is going to put you on the spot because you have no idea what's coming. So, All right. what are you thankful for? <laughs> I guess in the video game industry, what are you thankful for? What am I thankful for in the video game industry? Yeah, with video games in general, since you know we are a video game podcast, and then we can branch out later. I am thankful... For the, oh god, up oh, put him on the spot. Dude, I am thankful for the for the experiences I've had, honestly, with my friends. I would guess you could say in video games. Aww. Because, no, because playing games. I mean, it, 
you can play your single player games, but I mean, a lot of games that I play nowadays, I have to play with somebody else. So, mm-hmm. um, I think it makes the games even better to be honest when you're playing with somebody else. So yeah, that would be it. Fair enough. That's a good, that's a good one. What I am thankful for just, well, let's be real. I'm thankful for video games in general. I'm just thankful that they are able to take, uh, immerse you in the game and it has a different type of escape escapism as like a movie uh, or a book i feel like you can really escape in video games because you can immerse yourself in the world get distracted for a longer period of time because i mean i don't know about you but i had difficult times growing up certain points low points in life even though we're kids so we don't really know what low points are at some points um but relative to ourselves it's low points for us um However, I can always pop in a video game, and that would always excite me. Oblivion being one of the main ones, I put hours upon hours into that. And sometimes I had rough days, and playing Oblivion is what helped me get through that day. So I'm thankful for video games and all the game developers that put the time and effort to make these difficult games. I know we give them a bunch of shit when the game's not ready. That's Poor planning on your part. I'm not going to lie. You should plan it out properly to release at a a certain time where there's not going to be issues or bugs. But that's just me. But I'm still thankful that they put in the time and effort and the crunch to get these games out. Because I know it takes a lot of effort and a lot of time on their part. So, I'm thankful for that. I figure we're being festive. Yay! (laughs) I'm thankful for you too, Gary. The fact that you're here with me and doing this podcast. It is a joy to be here, sir. Honestly, this podcast wouldn't have started if you'd ever actually asked me. I always wanted to do podcasts, but I realized I couldn't do one by myself. So you finally – I know I bugged you before doing one, and you're like, oh, I'm busy. <laughs> I'm busy. And then all of a sudden you finally came up and was like, oh, I want to do a podcast. I'm like, all right, let's do it. Well, I was busy though. That wasn't a lie. <laughs> I wasn't blowing you off here. <laughs> Not like everyone else isn't busy, Gary. You just got to put uh, the time in. I'm, more, the time. I'm more important than most people. You're more important. <laughs> wow. The ego comes out. You guys think that I'm egotistical? Uh, you just heard that. Gary yeah. is full of ego, and I will eventually overthrow him and just take control of this whole brand of two Jersey kids. You watch. You watch and see. But, uh, I mean, that's that's the end of it. That's the end of uh this Tuesday episode. It's Actually, we uh, drew it out, I guess, from the beginning rambling and our thankfulness. Uh, we also we are also mainly thankful for all you guys that listen to us, right, Gary? Yes, indeed. Yeah, we are so thankful. So, listeners, new listeners, thank you for listening to us right now. We truly appreciate it. And if you really do love the show, please subscribe and also please rate us on iTunes or any podcast app services that you use. It would be uh, very helpful towards us um, and futuring uh, and help us in the future with our goals. Uh, Just remember, we do release episodes every Tuesday. That's this one in your ears right now. And you'll be hearing one on Friday uh, that we will be recording sometime in the future, probably before Thanksgiving. Maybe on Thanksgiving. Who knows? Maybe we'll be festive and record on Thanksgiving. But uh, look out for that episode. Uh, Again, thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for interacting with us on Twitter at 2JerseyKids. Please keep interacting with us and send questions at 2JerseyKids at gmail.com. Or on Twitter at 2JerseyKids. I know I already said that. But, uh, Gary, have anything left to say to these uh, beautiful listeners out there? Just keep on uh, keep on supporting us. You know, we, I think that was it our, our month downloads have basically eclipsed like the past two months. Combined, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, it's really cool to see this kind of grow and see more people downloading our episodes. So just, uh, you know, keep on supporting us. We do it for we do it for you guys, obviously, so um, we really appreciate it. Nah, fuck that shit. We do it for us. All the glory is ours. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just, I'm just fucking with you. I'm just fucking with you. But uh, I just got to say bye. Gary, you going to say bye? Say bye to the kids. Adios, amigos. All right, people. Peace out. Circus of Values. Bye. Thanks for watching. Gary and Adam have left the building.